strategies are real, but I think they've been super corrupted in how we express them. I think the way that we socialize people as male or female is not really very close to what a divine masculine or a divine feminine energy is in its purest state. Well, Ian, how you were saying, like, the limitations that people, you know, that that's one of the things that I'm taking as biggest takeaway is like really unwrapping and saying there you don't have to conform or have these set of subset um, like kind of uh, limits or belief systems that imposed upon you right mm -hmm. and so where do you think that things would be going from here I mean I say that you know like you you kind of said you know you see maybe on the census, maybe having just a blank space, right, in the future. But as society and where people in, in like our culture, at least in America and stuff like that, where do you see and how long do you think it's going to take to shift? I think it's great what's happening, even though it's kind of stressful and, you know, makes everybody kind of uncomfortable. But even just to use like race as an example, like we have to acknowledge racism, mm -hmm. right? And we have to look at it and we have to say, black people in the US especially have been completely mistreated and they're consistently mistreated and they, you know, get passed over for jobs and they have less opportunities yeah. and like, and we have to take the time as uncomfortable as it is to stay and say police brutality is happening to them in proportionate amounts, you know, and just really acknowledge that and then we can move on, you know, and it's the same with gender. It's like, okay, like we have to really focus our energy and be like, there are gay people who exist and it's okay and there are people who are not like one gender or another and it's okay and we have to kind of like go through it as a society and just sort of be like no that's okay now no that's okay now yeah. you know and we have to sort of address all of these things that we have hurt so many people you know in the past through not allowing the expression of I mean yeah. to have a certain skin color or to be a certain sexuality or you know and gender is kind of like like I can I for my life I conformed to being female and it wasn't true it wasn't right but it also wasn't like as disruptive as some of these other things yeah. Um, but we have to address them all, you know, and everybody has an aspect of them. I mean, even white males now are, you know, we have to address the fact that, like, they're being attacked, you know? So yeah. it's like... I am reading now a book by Ken Carey entitled The Starseed Transmissions, An Extraterrestrial Report. ...as a channel for communication. During our interviews, I would perceive reality, not only through my own perceptual mechanism, but through theirs as well. The resulting synthesis provided for a relatively accurate approximation in human language of the awareness they brought. In the course of my work with these creatures, I understand them to be focalizations of various essential perspectives. At times I considered these extraterrestrial, at other times angelic. Occasionally, I thought of the entities as informational cells within a galactic organism of some sort. Toward the end of the transmissions, other more mythical perspectives emerge, about which I will make no comment here. But by whatever term we choose to understand these entities, their purpose in sending these message, messages has not been to teach us of themselves, but to teach us of our own nature and purpose upon this third planet from the star we call Sun. Chapter 1 Everything is the beloved talking to itself. Everything is one monologue, one song. The wind, the birds, 
It's all that what you're looking for. Success. What is, what is success? What is this? Most don't recognize they are written by someone else's rule. Most beings have no idea that they're living by just a fake system, a system that is not their own. So a lot of the times I get this question of how do I let go of my mind? So a lot of the times I get this question of how do I let go of my mind? Well, you can't let go of your mind because you don't have a mind. The mind is an appearance in you. So it's like a mirage. Or like smoke and mirrors of the wind. How do you let go of the wind? How do you catch the wind? You see, you never had a mind that is the dream. <laughs> so you can't let it go. So a lot of the times I get This better back off, I'm getting pissed.
Whoa! It's the early show. Whoa! It's too early to stream, damn it. We're doing and gonna do it anyway. So get ready and get your laptops open and all that good stuff. Cause it's the cool stream, everybody. It's time to do the show. It's the early show. It's Saturday morning. It's Sunday morning. Everyone's at church, or they're still asleep. And we're here doing a show, despite all the different reasons why we shouldn't be doing it. And despite all the haters and stuff, we're still doing it. Still doing it. Going strong. It's episode number 70-something. 75. Get ready. It's going to be a fun, crazy, cool, weird show. I hope everyone's awake, and I'm almost awake. We're going to get there, we're going to drink some more coffee, and we're going to watch some weird videos, talk about stuff, and do the show, because that's what we do, and we'll never stop. It's the cool stream. It's time to do the show, everybody. What is up, everyone? It's uh, going to be a fun, crazy, cool show. It's the cool stream. We talk about weird, crazy, cool stuff on the web. You know us, you love us, and you're familiar with all the things that we do. We don't have to say no more. When you're here, when you're logged on to twitch.tv, you know what you're going to get. It's going to be a fun show today. See how excited I am. It's the cool stream. Cool stream. I'm gonna do the rest of the intro with the sound drops. Cool stream. Hey, I'm watching the cool stream here. Hey, 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 I'm watching the cool stream here. Ooh, it's so good. Ooh, it's so good. Cock slapping over. What the fuck are you doing? What is up? That Everyone. is crazy. Oh my word. Who's me, Kano? Oh, what? Ooh, it's so good. The cool stream. All right. <laughs> that was fun. That was different. We need to switch things up every now and then. Every now and every now and again. We gotta switch things up and keep it different and weird and interesting for every, all the viewers out there. And everyone's here, everyone's in the cool lounge, they're ready to go. And they're ready to cheer me on for another episode of The Cool Stream. And I can just go to, I can just do whatever I want today. That's kinda one of the one of the things that we're gonna do today is just I'm just do whatever I want. I'm tired of all the labels. I'm tired of being told what to do. And we're gonna do this and do that. Do my sound alerts that I love. And not today, folks. I'm just gonna do a show straight from the heart. That's what we're gonna get into. So we're gonna talk about star seeds. Whoa! <laughs> and what is that all about? I need like a star sound. Hey, Kaylee is here. And we're going to talk about the Unicult also and why that you should join. Um, I'm going to join. <laughs> I've already convinced myself of it. God. Uh, I've already convinced myself. I've been watching some of the videos and doing some, trying to do some research and understand our topic for today. It's star seeds. We're going to learn about star seeds. And we've, it looks like we've skipped a few frames. I hope you, I hope you didn't, we didn't miss out on some of these frames because they were good. There were some good frames that went through that we missed out on. So we're joining, we're joining the cult, um, and we're going to become a star seed. Good morning, good Morgan. It's early. We've got a fun episode today. We're talking about star seeds. 
star seeds. I'm trying to find a, like a laser sound or something. And we've also got the cool, we got the free sound of the day as well in the mix. Let's see, what about this, what about this sound? <laughs> Good lord, that's so loud. I can't do these free sounds anymore. They're too loud. Star seeds. It's crazy. <laughs> we've well, we've also got the cool snack zone. And what do we've got in the cool snack zone today? Is <laughs> Trail mix, the classic trail mix. Gorp, isn't it, isn't that what gorp is? Peanuts, almonds, raisins, and some M and M's. They're not. Oh, these are real M and M's. Okay. A little crunch for you. Delicious. Okay, we're talking about star seeds today. Do aliens eat trail mix? Do they have trails in space? They have contrails. Uh, we drop some more frames. Crap. Uh, the internet is acting a fool today. Hope you didn't, hope you didn't miss out on those frames. Okay, we're talking about star seeds today. Whoa, whoa. whoa! It's a crazy topic. That was a request from from one of our uh, patrons and one of the cool heads out there. And he's in the chat right now. Poff Deluxe said, "You got to check this out." And we sort of are sort of familiar with it from back when we did an episode about light language. <laughs> so I thought we could we could investigate the star seeds now because the light language episode we did about that was about 30 episodes ago. Can you believe that? Episode 45. It was way back sometime in November or something. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It felt like it was just yesterday. So we're going to do star seeds because it's a topic that's that's popping up again on the web. One of our favorite corners of the web where it's all around these days is over on TikTok. And this and TikTok has sort of revamped their web site, their web presence so that we're able to see some of these TikToks a little bit better. So we're going to do more TikTok, uh, which is cool. It's a, a lot of weird stuff on here. So it's very prevalent over on TikTok, the star seeds. So, um, in addition to the request that was made, a formal request was put in to have, have a, this topic covered this week, but also went viral on the web. Um, this tweet here, which is a little bit, uh, maybe not the nicest thing to say about this, but uh, we'll get into that. Anyway, here's the... Here's the video that everyone saw. How do I know if I'm a starseed? But nobody seems to ask, what is it like to be a starseed? Starseeds are alien consciousness born into human bodies. Because of our unique energy signatures, we have pretty hard lives. <laughs> Being a starseed is a super lonely experience. It feels like nobody understands you, and it feels like your family is far away in space. Starseeds have a super different energy signature than other Earth because of this they're often diagnosed with severe mental illness because of their in inability to just go about life like nothing is wrong they can see the corruption in place very clearly the positives are that you're usually super smart and also really psychic and if you can learn how to master your interdimensional traveling with your conscious energy you don't have to feel lonely and you can connect to your family in space also as the internet expands on these topics you can find other star seeds like you unicult for example is my cult full of Star seed. A lot of people ask me. Unicult. It's full of star seeds. What is a star seed? And this tweet says, I'm not depressed. I'm actually a star seed. So, star seed uh, Unicult went viral on the web. And apparently, there's a lot. Apparently, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff about the Unicult that I learned about. There's a documentary a few years ago from Vice. We love Vice. So, you can check that out. It's kind of interesting. Probably just go ahead and watch that instead of watching how uh, my version of it. But uh, Elon Musk is a star seed. That's why he's trying to go to Mars. Epic, <clears throat> epic. <laughs> and they uh, and Unicult uh, Unicol was also on MTV's True Life. It's interesting. And there was a uh, an Indiegogo about a sex robot. <laughs> 
So anyway, that's just a little, and this is all the videos for the Unicult. It's a lot of weird, fun things to watch. It's, it's almost like a crazy weird art project. But our leader, our fearless leader, other than Unicole. And I was doing a little, another um, sort of a deep dive to try to understand what is this, what is this all about? Who is this person? And was watching a video and Unicole is non-binary uses and uses the pronouns Z and Zer. So we're going to try to be respectful, use the correct pronouns today. And because we don't want to be rude, we just want to figure out what it's all about. It's Unicult, it's the Unicult. Blessings to all. Thank you for visiting my webpage on the internet. I'm a pop star cult leader from space. I started Unicult to change the entire world into Unitopia. Please follow me on popular social media websites. And we're on all of them. I'm, liter I'm literally happy that you specifically are here. <laughs> I'm literally happy that you are you specifically are here. I should probably say that when I'm doing the show also. I'm literally happy that specifically you are here. Now, a lot of these star seeds will do their videos like that where they'll say I love you with every fabric. <laughs> okay, I can't even be sincere on this show. I love you with every fabric of my being. And I'm specifically happy that you are here. What? Fiber. Every fiber of my being. And that's my intern in the cool studios. <laughs> what is the Unicult? We're going to figure it out. The future of the Unicult's a collaborative effort for anyone who wants to work towards the goal of a, creating a bright... Hello to the intern. Uh, as a, right? a collaborative effort for anyone who wants to work towards the goal of creating a bright and hopeful future. This is done primarily by raising individuals up into a state of near constant joy while simultaneously educating them about the interconnection between their joy and global joy. Unicult teaches that none can thrive without while others suffer. For this reason, we focus primarily on individual happiness and a healthy mindset towards ourselves and the world. And it's a social framework for curious, healing, growing people to participate within and question the world and their realities. You join the Unicult, and you'll get a package in the mail with a bunch of stickers and stuff. <laughs> Birth of the Unicult. This is the initiation video. Once upon a time, there was a great burning sun that was something like me. Being a great burning sun, she was obviously filled with quite a lot of curiosity I'm gonna, about what it go was into to be. <laughs> anything other than Joining what she the already cult. was. Well. And so she looked upon all of the places she was shining light onto, Whoa. lighting up a whole galaxy with her love. And she decided that she would incarnate and, and create different Whoa. levels of herself to experience the universe in a different it's kind of scary. way. Kind of weird. She turned into a higher level being. And she stayed a great burning sun as well. But she let a piece of herself go and incarnate as this higher level being. Now this higher level being is what some might call the violet flame or the seventh dimension. And it's uh, a being the who ascended master. you could think of like an angel. Metatron. And we learned about she the Ascended Masters. Yet too. again, as Violet a child spirit. Saint Germain. And like oh. <laughs> what we would consider the fifth or sixth dimension. Emotional dimensions is how I think of them. And so there was this Arcturian spirit. Arcturians are a group of, um, of fifth to seventh dimensional <laughs> beings who are very kind and Arcturians. loving. And, and have these really beautiful ideals because they are still so connected to these higher realms. So the Arcturian energy was a perfect way for this higher level angel to start to transition into something a little bit denser and a little bit lower while still maintaining the ideals of the higher realms. Whoa. What? Star seeds. This is all about star seeds today. 
We're going to join the cult. How to join the cult. Why join the cult? Unicult. It's an interesting... It's an interesting thing we have here. It's a spiritual belief set upon which Unicult is founded. It was created by the heart of Unicol Uni Unicron in order to raise one specific person, that is, Unicol Unicron, out of the pits of despair and into a state of near constant joy. Now, you got to be careful with that. Um, trying to be in near constant joy. That's, that's um, a tricky thing to do. Though, you're not, though you are not Unicol Unicron, you may find much benefit within the practice of Unicultism. It's not uh, practicing of unicultism is not required by any member. It's encouraged that each member of Unicult create their own custom spirituality. That's kind of cool. I guess I could do that. I guess I'll have to do that when I join the cult. It's suggested uh, they study unicultism, and you can uh, you can benefit if you suffer suffer from hopelessness, overactive imagination, inclination towards magic. Oh. Worry for, our, worry for our future as a species, global sadness, unhealthy habits, like eating too many snacks, like I'm about to do, obsession with the abyss, <laughs> well, that's my favorite movie, consumer blues, Aww. is it suspicious that Unicron is one letter swap from Unicorn, Unicol, uni Unicron. Unicorn loves unicorns, so I think that's just part of the part of the whole art. It's sort of like a a crazy art project. Creativity and creation. It's an essential part of the human spirit. It's a foundational aspect of the unicult. They're encouraged to create as much of the world as possible in the way that they will ben uh, that will benefit us all. It's ideas, ideologies, products, media, and communities. It's a, it's, a, it's a support network. We understand to promote joy effectively, our members must first be joyous. Wow! So that's how that's how we join. And there's Unikids too. I don't know what that's about. And there's a YouTube's Unicast. Let's see what's on the calendar. It's all digital, so you can get in there even when you're quarantined. Uh, there's a registration. Ends for second term. It's the last day to register for Patreon classes. Let's see. Oh, today is the Cam Church. So it looks like we just missed that, maybe. There's a Cam Church. <laughs> maybe it's going on right now. Here's all, here's all our Unicult videos. There's tons of them. I'm going to tell you, I want to yell at the Galactic Federation. <laughs> Going viral for being crazy. Let's watch that one. We've got that one queued up, so Unicole went viral. Now let's watch how to join first. So just give you an idea of how to join. How to join up. We're all gonna join. <laughs> Hello, sweethearted consumer. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Would you like nothing more than to ascend into a higher realm of being? Howdy, howdy. Would you enjoy being more fulfilled in your day-to-day -day interactions? A little snake. A little snake. If the snack. intangibles <laughs> of spiritual fulfillment are what you desire, I may be able to help. The Unicorn wow. now has an official application available online. The application is $10, now. and what that buys you is a meticulously $10. crafted correspondence directly with me. <laughs> this correspondence will take you on a regimented structure where there are tangible rewards based on every level of your success. <laughs> it is important to note that there is a large difference between the Unicult and Unicultism. Unicultism is the spiritual framework upon which the Unicult is founded on. The Unicult itself is open to all and does not contradict any religious or ideological belief sets. Instead, the Unicult inspires you to develop your own spiritual framework, your own unique expression, your own unique spiritual expression that will fulfill you specifically. Unicultism is what I have developed in order to fulfill myself. So while you are welcome to the ideas of Unicultism and you are welcome to practice it, it is not required of any member in the Unicult. I am so happy to have to share this with you and I hope that um, I will get your application soon. 
And I look forward to interacting with you through the mail. Unicorn bless. Well, not if they're going to dismantle the freaking postal service. Unicult is it might be. Hello, beloved. Thank you for joining me today. Might be on the downs. Going viral for being crazy. I was recently um, viral, and a video that I made on TikTok was oh, taken TikTok. from TikTok and then put onto Twitter. And then, uh, first of all, it was duetted a bunch, and it was considered to be like uh, a crazy person. Uh, on TikTok, and then it was taken off TikTok, and then I was put onto Twitter. And so I got a lot of attention, I got a lot of hate for uh, being a... So I went to a more balanced bow, um, and why I am, and, and kind of... I think that there are a lot of people who follow me and follow you and haven't made up mind, and so when someone makes a, a disparaging video that hasn't done any research, sometimes it can, can have a really strong effect. So I just want to give you guys some more information so that you can then um, feeling swayed one way or another. I don't need to prove myself to anybody. I don't need to even make this video, um, but I do. I do because um, whenever someone is critical of me, I feel a personal responsibility to become a better communicator because I feel in my heart that and it one is of the so pure and this is a live video. People, one of the one of the people in the chat here, bald headed ho, says, "Hey, queen." <laughs> Interesting screen don't name. Don't understand the purity of my heart. It's kind of but, a long video too. Uh, that there's there's a big issue there. <laughs> I don't like I don't like being misunderstood, and I don't think anybody does. And it comes at an an intense situation when you're when you're so unique and when you are very different. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. Um, one person made a video. We don't need want to be special. We're talking about um, one of my TikTok videos that went viral for talking about um, how I'm a starseed. And first of all, I think this is a cosmic divine reality where disclosure is happening. I think that people need to understand that there are starseeds on this planet ready to lead, it, lead us. And I think that it's very funny that, um, that the way that people think of starseeds now is with me and they, uh, they think that it's uh, cringe. I was on the front page of Reddit today for being <laughs> Oh cringe. no! Cringe. So the regular humans are. I just want to say, I just want to say for the record, kind of Unicult is not cringe. Okay, that's the official stance of the cool stream. And that's fine. Um, we're here to lead the way. I'm here early to build the infrastructure for the future, and that's fine. So one of the things is that people uh, were saying is that. I am trying to be oppressed, or I'm trying to make myself special, and I think that the the thing I can talk about there is um, I tried to fit in, and I think that this is true for for all casts. You know, it's like what real in what reality is it more comfortable to stand out, to be oppressed or an outcast? No one is trying to do that. When I label myself as a starseed, that's because I really resonate with that it's a, it's a way to describe it's a it's a solution it's, it, it is the thing that feels the most real to me when i talk about the <laughs> differences you. that i am suggesting it's the cringe different energy that i have and my inability to fit in i do my best to fit in if i could if i could be a number one pop star and fit in then i would but i can't and that's oh, okay whoa. because that's my path and there's a crazy, pretty wild backstory that it's in the Vice video. So we're not going to try to do as much hard-hitting journalism as you can get from the Vice video. Just watch that. Check that out. But I do an interview and Unicole is talking about how um, there was some some a suicide attempt and some a near death experience and all of this very um, you know unfortunate things that happened, which then led to being uh, discovering being a starcy and starting the cult and making all this all this crazy art stuff. So that is you know that is the that's the backstory. We just want to set the record straight on that. So we're part of the cult now. Um, <laughs> It's pretty wild. 
So, and we're starting to lose our journalistic integrity, I think, by just sort of <laughs> just parodying everything that's being said here. So let's just get, oh, we're not going to go to that yet. We're going to watch some of these music videos. We love music. Official music video. There's mu music and art and stickers and all kinds of fun stuff that you can be if you join the cult. And we're joining up right after we get off this, right after we get done streaming. <laughs> And there's a band camp, too. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! Rewind that. It's, it's acting up here. <laughs> we might have a band coming. No, no, no. All kinds of members of this of the cult. I don't know if I have uh, any videos of that. Testimonials of different people all across the web joining the cult. And you can join it up now for ten dollars. And uh, so let's see if we can figure out what is a star seed. What is this? Oh yeah, and there's also the thing about the sex robots. <laughs> um, but the future of pleasure is now. And it didn't, did not get funded, I don't think. This is from a while ago. First robot, consent focused robot brothel in the world. Guests can visit in the futuristic cafe where they can get to know the world's first companion robots. They can spend time with their favorite robot. <laughs> they can design, the funding will design and build a space for the brothel. And purchase various companion robots, Man. real dolls. <laughs> everyone, everyone gets paid a living wage for administering the the brothel, the the sex robots. <laughs> Eve's robot dreams will help build a world where robots. Oh, we can't see it. Robots, on. Here it is, the Indiegogo. Eve's Robot Dreams, the future of pleasure is now. By Unicol Uni uh, Unicron. It's the first consent focused robot brothel in the world. Mm. Well, people, it'll, it'll uh, cater to a variety of things, including people who have wild fantasies. Okay. <laughs> People who want to explore without cheating. Oh, no, I cheated on my cheated with a robot. <laughs> that would be 
That would be weird. People who are interested in taking their relationship with technology deeper. Okay, now it's now it's uh, getting too horny. Oh, and they're they're also gonna wash the robots. <laughs> Cleaning and sanitation. It's especially important now to have to be clean and sanitized. Hand on. We're gonna clean and sterilize the equipment. I don't think it's nice. I don't think it's good to refer to the robots as the equipment. But I guess that's just what it is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> world's first consent focused robot brothel. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, yeah! This is a experience gallery designed for people to come in and interact with robots like Harmony. Even if they don't have a robot, they can interact with robots like Harmony in either public or private settings. Everyone will have different reasons for wanting to interact with robots. <laughs> Some people are going to get in trouble curious. for this. Other people are going to have social anxiety. Oh, yeah! Maybe they're just lonely. Whatever your reason is, you can find a lot of comfort in these robots. I don't think so. My body is made from platinum grade silicone. My skin is supple and firm. My body okay. is made for ultimate pleasure in my heart. <laughs> feel it. It's very important how we approach this technology. <laughs> okay. It's getting too horny. I didn't think we were going to go in that direction, but it's just what happens. Check out that... Uh, we'll go ahead and... And just keep plugging that. Check out that Vice video. <laughs> it does a little bit better explaining some of the backstory and some of the other stuff about the Unicult. And there's the Instagram. Okay, so what is a... Oh, hold on. We're going to save that one for later. Let's... <laughs> the subtitle of my commentary would be Nervous Laughter. Yeah. We don't get into that kind of territory most of the time. We have before. It was, epi it was a special episode, episode number 69. So it was okay that we did it on that episode. We did take a tangent a little bit to kind of give you the full picture of the Unicult and what you're in for when you join up. Okay, let's now let's talk about the star seeds. Am I a star seed? <clears throat> Am, I <laughs> Am I a star seed? Am I a star seed? Star seed types and characteristics revealed. This is from Gaia. It's one of the. This is the website. If you want to find out if you're a star seed, or about aliens or any of that stuff, check out Gaia. Expand your consciousness. If you've ever looked up at the night sky and felt a connection with a bright planet or glowing cluster of stars, you might be connect. You might be feeling your soul's connection to a past or future life. Given that you came from stardust and have been infused infused with the divine light. You might feel this connection deeply in your bones. Is this, is this an illusion? Or are you born from a distant star? A true descendant of faraway light body planet? A star seed? There's a billion bazillion stars out there. There's a hundred uh, billion stars out there. And surely one of us is from an alien. One billion trillion stars. And the number is massive. And there's billions of planets out there, too. Imagine the distance that we have yet to travel. Consider the possibility that time does not exist. That all manner, matter changes or expands in each moment. Okay, so how did humans source information on star seeds? The ideas and concept around star seeds come to us from channelers and seers. We're going to look at some channelings. We love that stuff. Seers who regularly connect with the Akashic Records. I don't know what that is. It's something you'd have to do with aliens in different dimensions or something. And downloading the light codes. As, the, as we enter the matrix of the eighth dimension, we find the Akashic Records. It's sort of like when you're doing um, archaeology and you have to look at the fossil record. When you're doing starseed alien stuff, you have to look at the Akashic Record. See what the, where the aliens are up to. It's here that we can see everything that comes from the mind of the first dimension and contemplate every possible expression what this mind creates. We can think of this as the great tree of life. The roots meet the branches like a network of connection that binds everything together. And that's the Akashic Record, everybody. Now we can center our chakras and align our being to be able to download information from the Akashic Record. So it's like an FTP site and you log in connect with the, with the, the password and you can download the codes to your brain 
just from from doing meditation and stuff. According to the channelers, star seeds are advanced spiritual beings from other planets who possess spiritual and scientific knowledge that date back hundreds of thousands of years. It seems that while most star seeds are benevolent beings who seek to help all li uh, living beings throughout all the realms and universes, some star seeds seek to control interplanetary resources for the benefit of their home planet. Like the reptilians. Remember those guys? Most agree that star seeds are traveling souls from other planets who are incarnated on Earth to inspire and heal human beings. So it's kind of like having a past life, except your past life was an alien. How do you know if you're a star seed? You may have a quiet sense that you come from somewhere beyond this planet and can imagine your physical appearance from prior lives in other worlds. Maybe you fantasize about life in other galaxies. We hope of incarnating elsewhere in future births. I wonder about that stuff all the time. And maybe I'm one of them. We all seek belonging, alignment, kinship, and all that good stuff. Uh, we might say, I'm on the seven Enneagram, or I'm a recovering Catholic, or I'm a conservative Democrat. We might even say, I'm a starseed Pleiadian, to be precise. <laughs> it's just, it's all the same. You're a Catholic, you're a Democrat, or you're a Pleiadian. One of those two. Woo! Or you're a Trumper. It's, a, it's part of constructing your self-identity and your persona. So it's, sort of, it's like having a fursona, but instead of a furry cartoon, it's an alien. While most star seeds appear to have come from Earth, not all star seeds are intent on helping us evolve. And there's bad star seeds. There's, there's the Syrians. Woo! They come from planets Sirius A and Sirius B. Sirius A is the brightest star in the Earth's sky. Original inhabitants come from Vega in the Lyra constellation, supposed home of Earth's ancestors. Sirius B is a smaller star home to the water beings like Miyengu and the Mer people. These people, uh, the planets initiated the awakening of all human beings. Sirius A gave us the Ascended Masters, like <laughs> Jesus and Mother Mary. All right, so that makes sense. The Pleiadians. Woo! We know all about the Pleiadians. They come from the Pleiades, the star cluster known as the Seven Sisters, found within the constellation Taurus. Uh, you can see the rendition of the cluster in the Subaru automobile logo. Pleiadians are the record keepers for Earth. They claim the planet is 600 billion years old. They exist with a fifth dimensional frequency, which is where, is, which is where love and creativity are born. Woo! They are a matriarchal society that elevates women, children, and families. They behave much like humans, except they are more emotionally and spiritually evolved. That's the Pleiadians. Our next aliens, the Arcturians. They're the most advanced civilization in our galaxy, fifth dimensional beings. They built a society that became the original prototype for how to live on Earth. The Arcturians. They've invented architecture, they built the pyramids, I guess. Do, 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 do. Some say that when human beings die, they pass through the Arcturian energetic architecture on their journeys from death to rebirth. Like all 5th through ninth dimensional societies, Arcturus has the feeling of an angelic realm. Yet, it can be a helpful landing station for etheric forms. Rebirthing souls and all that stuff. It's the brightest star in the Booties constellation. And we have the Andromedans. God, good lord, there's a lot of these. Let's go through the list. The Andromedans? They're from the MS-13 galaxy, <laughs> and they're, they have one mission to bring peace and, peace and love to the races enslaved by the reptilians. Interesting. There's the indigo, crystal, and rainbow. They have different special abilities, energy cleansing and all that stuff, indigos. And then there's the light worker, and we covered that on a, a whole other episode the light worker. They have special souls from a variety of planets and realms. And they're not beholden to any planet, culture, society, or mission. They work solely for the light. So they're like the Jedis. 
Then we have the Orions. They question every detail. Okay, that's good. The felines. There's the furries. They're from the Lyra constellation. And from Egypt. Maldek is another one. They're robots. Lemurians, the Atlantis, the blue avians, and the reptiles. And we hate the reptiles. They're shapeshifters. David David Icke has reported on the reptilians. The reptilians are living among us with altered physical experience. How do you know which one you are? <laughs> well, you just have to meditate and think about it or something. I think there's some videos on that. Let's see. Let's figure out what kind of let's see what kind of uh, star seeds we are. Star seeds. You have otherworldly feelings. We can transcend from this from our living room. Okay, so we've learned all about star seeds now. So let's see. Let's see what else we have. What star seed origin are you? La 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 la. Hello gorgeous soul friends. Welcome to my channel, Madame DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for Welcome allowing me channel. into your unique experience today. I wanted to make this vlog because I've had so many people ask me to talk about this extremely interesting topic, especially now that more and more star seeds are beginning to awaken to their truth. This video can be used as a guide to assist you in piecing together the puzzle of your divine memory. So firstly, let's talk about what a star seed is. Star seeds are souls from other worlds that incarnate onto planet Earth to bring knowledge and spiritual evolution. They help Mother Earth by uplifting the energies around them. They have entered this planetary consciousness body to experience the reincarnation cycle and activate their spiritual stuff. mission. <laughs> star seeds are usually older souls who incarnate onto other worlds for extended periods of time, sometimes many, many lifetimes, to help steer that world in the right direction. They bring assistance to civilizations that are struggling to evolve. There are millions of star seeds on planet Earth, so no, being a star seed does not make you any more special than the next human. As the majority of the population is composed of star seed souls, they're very, very common. Some have been here for eons and are really familiar with Earth's cultures and belief systems. While others are a little newer and they're still struggling to kind of find their way around. Every star seed that comes here is assigned a mission regarding what they can do to help the planet. The Many of these star seeds are awake, accept. meaning they are aware and understanding of their mission and may be fully involved in it. To tell if you or someone you know is a starseed, there are patterns that many in this group display. <laughs> Firstly, they may find Kaylee's it difficult into to fit into seeds. groups of people. <laughs> They often feel isolated and may even feel society here makes little to no sense. They may find it warlike, hostile, self-destructive, or ignorant. And many human behaviors make no sense to them. Starseeds often have a great intelligence and also a more refined sense. They tend to be peace-loving and wish to protect the environment. Some starseeds, depending on where they come from, can be highly intellectual, logical, and wise, with a love of space and science, while others are drawn to natural healing methods free of chemicals. This knowingness is due Due to a stronger link between the body and the higher self. In the past, starseeds have been born as humans without any clear memories at all, leaving them struggling to remember who they are. If a starseed fails to awaken, it's okay, but it's seen as a mission incomplete. In the past, mm. energies on Earth have been much lower, making life feel miserable and uncomfortable. This keeps humans from connecting with their divine self and has made it more difficult for starseeds to fulfill their missions. Upon hearing that the soul might originate from another world, the starseed often has an immediate flash of knowing that this is indeed true. What starseeds must realize is that while it's okay to dream of home, it's super important to ground to Mother Earth during their stay and make the best out of it. That way they can do the best possible job here. Most starseeds have spent time on more than one world. That way they can collect a variety of vastly different experiences. So there are many starseeds that feel they have several origins. As I list the different that origins, listen to your intuition. Okay. It'll tell you where your soul hails See. from. Now let's talk about the different kinds of star, star seeds and all of their different you? characteristics. First, we'll discuss the Syrians. Sirius is a multi-star system, Sirius. meaning it has more than one sun. It is 8.7 light years away from Earth and is the most visible star to the naked eye. One of the worlds called Sirius B is a water planet and allegedly holds dolphins, mer people, and whales. Water. Some indigenous 
Chinese cultures even believe that dolphins and whales hold extraterrestrial origins due to their high levels of intelligence. Syrian star seeds are simple in the <laughs> way they approach that? life. It's and they are also very spiritual. Kind of they go about tasks easily, not have sure an open mind, and are not overly from. complicated. They are also out. highly intelligent. Syrians are unyielding in their own I minds. Think I'm a, Trusting I think I'm one of the tall greys, the big bug-eyed. They don't mention that in the star seeds, but they're part of the aliens. Or the Anunnaki. The ancient aliens. Their own truth above others. I, you However, know I, they see a clear you know path I hate the reptilians, so whoever's a... Whoever's against the reptilians, probably the Anunnaki. They've been in a galactic war. Uh, that's probably the one that I belong to. When <laughs> else's eyes, they will willingly go that way. They move on quickly from the old and focus solely on the new. It is not easy to anger a Syrian. They are mm -hmm. very calm and resourceful. They'll be the rock yeah, when everything falls apart, as they are known to hold it together under pressure. They tend to be very mystical. They produce many wizards, witches, shamans, Whoa. healers, and other types wizards. of mystics. They enjoy the fantasy genre because a lot of these worlds hold uh -huh. resemblance to their okay. home star system. They may seem quiet or shy, but in reality, they're just really analytical the people, D &D always observing what's going on. They may act as nature guardians and are likely to thrive in careers surrounding environmental protection. Syrian starseeds are very creative with a vivid imagination. They enjoy music and often make great musicians, tattoo artists, and fashion designers mm, since they're so creatively forward in their way of expressing themselves. They are also most notable for their significant connection to ancient Egypt. And a lot of Syrian mm. starseeds may find themselves feeling connected to ancient Egyptian teachings. I like that. I like ancient Egypt. It's cool. The Orion constellation is located in Gemini. If you always looked up at the sky as Gemini, a child and your Gemini. eyes seemed to find Orion's belt every time, to do with it's likely that your connection was stuff? calling your gaze. Unlike many starseeds who operate from a place of oneness, Orion starseeds operate from a duality consciousness, hence their area of origin being in Gemini, the sign of duality. They understand their own duality consciousness and have learned to enjoy it. Orions operate with a bit of ego, so they do well in competitive sports and often push themselves LeBron to perfection James. when they're honing a skill. They do well in careers that guy. offer a lot of challenge and competition. They have a slightly weaker emotional it's body, kind of a long video. so they may Let's come see if we can skip to the other. Here we go. I don't want to know about the Arcturians. I don't know if anyone here is a big humor. sports person. They have a great sense of 36. humor. 36.7 light years away, we have the Boots constellation, which holds an ancient star called Arcturus. It has a very Arcturians. old race of beings known as the Arcturians. Arcturian star seeds are highly intelligent. Intelligent. They think critically about the, things in great depth. They often feel like the black sheep of their family <laughs> the, and feel like they don't belong. They are typically the very Brian serious people. James. They don't open up emotionally until you get to know them on a deeper level. Arcturian <laughs> starseeds are efficient planners and know how to get things done. They hmm. also like to be recognized for their hard works and achievements. They are experts in geometry and building. Mm. and often thrive in careers such that as was architecture. Me, but not me. Their body temperature Something. and blood pressure has a tendency to be slightly lower than normal. Arcturians what? are typically drawn to the paranormal and metaphysics, mm. and they may see geometric shapes when they close their eyes. They are very mm. sensitive to mm. sounds, smells, lights, and chemicals. They may avoid <laughs> certain fabrics or opt for fragrance-free cosmetics. They are naturally <laughs> telepathic and make Kayla's excellent Arcturian. musicians, mathematicians, and scientists. <laughs> I'm telepathic. Here we go. I think I'm Pleiadian. Pleiadian star seeds originate from the Pleiadian wow. star cluster, which is located in the constellation <laughs> of Taurus. They strive to achieve balance in all things and are strong proponents for moderation, temperance, and duality. They have gone through a very similar evolutionary process to us, so they are assisting in our spiritual progression. Pleiadian star seeds are natural healers, and they tend to operate with a balanced heart chakra and are balanced between male and Hot female chakra. energy. They are drawn to the night sky and may be skilled astronomers or astrologers. They also have a love for aliens. They are extremely <laughs> intuitive and tend to trust their own instincts. They have creative and active imaginations. They are interested in humanitarian efforts and often challenge social norms. You'll usually see them advocating for minority rights. They may have food sensitivities mm. and prefer natural foods. They are very nurturing and have a strong need to help others. They also make great parents. They're very mystical Whoa. and they're lovers of nature. They have a tendency to try and please everyone and this Whoa. empathetic nature makes them attract a lot of energy vampires. Uh -oh. They can be very emotional, <laughs> often tearing energy up easily. Vampires. And people enjoy their presence because they give their energy freely to others. Uh oh. And draconians. draconians. That doesn't sound good to be a I'm draconian. Okay, that's some of the star seeds. <laughs> 
There's a lot of star seeds, apparently. Andromedans. Uh, she didn't say what kind of star, sh star seed she was. Madame Devoe. <clears throat> okay, so we're talking about star seeds. There's so much stuff on here. So much stuff. Let's. We gotta hear a message uh, before we go any further. We've gotta hear a message from the Octurians. <coughs> we love this guy. We actually did a bonus episode about channeling where we watched one of his videos. So here's some of the, some of the message from the aliens is what we get from these channeling people. And this guy is going to give us a message. Now that I kind of understand the aliens. Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton. From the Arcturians. <laughs> and we're going to channel the Arcturian Council. The Arcturian Council. <laughs> TikTok stuff too. But it's funny when he starts talking like the Arcturians. The Arcturian Council. Wow. Okay. He's getting charged up with the light codes before he can do the Arcturian message. That's what he's doing there. all makes sense to me now that I've looked up star seeds. They use the words time and hands very loosely. Because where they come from, time is not doesn't exist. And instead of hands, they have these crazy freaking tentacles or something. They float around big eyeballs. I don't know. <laughs> As we don't really have either of those things. <laughs> they don't have hands or time. Because they're Octurians. But... It is an expression that is appropriate to describe <laughs> what our existence is like. 
Therefore, we do not feel the need to experience patience. Okay. This was a long video. We do not need for this you cat. to this cat's been walking ascend by ascend faster than you are. Oop. The cat is knocking the and camera over. we don't over. need you to get to the next phase or stage of your evolution <laughs> faster than you are currently moving. The dang feline starseed is getting in the way. Instead, we sit within Woo! our frequency range. That's my frequency range. Feeling here. into what is new, what is interesting, and what is exciting <laughs> for us yes. to feel into. I'm into it. Watching a lot of TV. Okay, that's Daniel Scranton. He does all these Octurian channelings. The Star Seed stuff is... I feel like I'm putting the pieces together on some of this New Age weird stuff just from doing a little more research. So it's all starting to make sense to me now. Whereas before, it didn't make any damn sense. Still doesn't make a lot of sense, but it makes some sense. The Star Seed Mission. The shift time shift blog. It's the Star Seed mission. Rec re according to this one, it's the Star Seed mission is reclaiming Christos Bade. The source code or Unity Field Intelligent is a crystal star. Christos Consciousness Hub access through the merging of manifested bodies holding Trinity wave formats. And I'm gonna, I normally like to deal with the MP3 formats. Uh, that connect directly into the eternal source light, Godhead. The three sound wave tone parts, when merged into eternal energetic balance, become designed as one component that access directly into the feedback loop, exchanging with the eternal source supply. Okay, is that making sense? This exchange with the Godhead is the principle of Christos, an inner sustained eternal source light, which signals the end of vampirism or consumptive modeling on the on the planet. Oh no, it's us against the vampires. The aliens versus vampires. That would be a good movie. So they had that cowboy. We always end up talking about movies. They had that cowboys versus aliens. But what about vampires versus aliens? That'd be kind of cool. Um. Uh, let's see. The Godhead cannot be reached by anything but the Christos consciousness, crystal star tones. Although this process of unifying consciousness with the Godhead is known by different names. Hmm. So it's all about inner energy, inhaling and exhaling the internal life spark of creation. The Trinity principle is the original holographic architecture of the microcosm to macrocosm, planetary, human, and all of universal creation. Our bodies and souls were not created by reptilian Anunnaki or other ET false gods. We were modified and hybridized to suit their various domination agendas through hybridization. The Christos template is designed as a unity form of embodiment. Uh, patterns and co <laughs> all the patterns and the codes must be embodied as a trinity wave to return the Christos to Earth. This sounds like Christian stuff. It's all about downloading the codes. We existed on 3D Earth in a separated state, covered by the tyranny of the false father gods. The Holy Mother, Father, and Son. And this is, this is going to get us in trouble. It's on Sunday. Everyone's in church, and we're talking about the false gods. They're only all as one godhead. And that's crazy. The energy matrix. Okay, then there's a certain ascension timeline that we have to all ascend back to the aliens. Many different variations of soul, spirit, consciousness, 
your planets and universes reincarnation cycle on the 3D planet Earth. We've all come to, in order to experience the shifting consciousness fields on the 3D planet Earth at this end cycle. These particularly groups of soul spirit beings that have incarnated in a 3D human body are referred to as star seeds. They hold more genetic memory from these future stations of identity. Star seeds have specific roles and a humanitarian spiritual mission to help free this planetary soul from spiritual and energetic oppression enforced by the NAA through the false father god religions. This is heretical stuff. It's to elevate and change destructive timelines through genetic rehabilitation and erased alien negative alien mind control software programs. Oh no! <laughs> We're getting deep into it. And there's a podcast. Check out the we're gonna have to check out the energy energetic synthesis podcast. <laughs> the software program this is crazy. The software program religions were put in place by the patriarchal dominant negative aliens in order to be worshipped as gods and easily enforce the enslavement of the planetary population. Oh crap. This is like sounds like something the like a high school stoner would come up with. The religion, all the religions on Earth are actually freaking software put in place by all the aliens. It's not actually real, it's just software. We need to delete the hard drive and reformat and upgrade your upgrade your operating system to the latest and greatest starseed whatever. Now you've also got walk-ins. Classic definition of a walk-in. It's like when you need a haircut, you just walk in. It's an advanced soul choosing to volunteer. This is crazy. <laughs> Energetic synthesis. What's their podcast about? Lisa Renee's podcast. Uh, the Sophianic Plasma Shield. So this is the kind of stuff you get into. Some of it, you know, some people, you can get into the Unicult or you can get into this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. You can check out the Reddit too. The sub has been brigaded. Challenge accepted. Anybody else thinking taking up meditation in quarantine? Think weirder with Adobe Cloud. <laughs> so you can get on the Reddit and check out some different... This trolling on this sub can be very beneficial. Uh, get into Starseed stuff. Let's clear the throat, throat chakra in the gym. And we're going to have a global ascension coming soon. Hopefully we can get to that. Now we've got to get to some TikToks on TikTok. Because that's where a lot of the Starseed stuff is coming out. And where we're hearing about it more and more. But we won't have TikTok for much longer because Bill Gates is going to, Trump is going to buy it from Bill Gates or something. So anyway, this is where you can get a lot of your Starseed information. It's from, it's from TikTok. <laughs> I don't know, we'll probably get muted for some of this music, but if you are creative, gentle, if you are interested in healing, okay, all right, let's have, we're going to have to pause that. This is telling us how to know you're a plebeian. Wow. If you are creative and gentle and meek, humanitarian, family-oriented, and if you're interested in hearing, you have high cheekbones, a strong jawline, are all about love, sensitive, understand polarity, Prone to escapism, made have food sensitivities, love to share. You might, then you might be a pleadian. Okay. If you have high cheekbones, <laughs> it's kind of suggestive of being an Aryan or something. If you're hot and nice, you're a pleadian. Pleadian. What are some other ones I have here on the list? Explaining the star seeds. You guys found me through my past life star seed videos. Hot so I nice figured I would make IBS. a specific <laughs> video dedicated to explaining star seeds. Star seeds are essentially advanced spiritual beings that have been sent down to Earth with a mission. As a whole, star seeds are here to help the collective consciousness ascend from the 3D to the 5D. But individually, 5D. each star seed has a specific mission that we they're love the here 5D. on Earth to accomplish. We don't like when star seeds choose to come to Earth, they agree to have amnesia, meaning that we don't remember anything about our past lives. As we begin to ascend spiritually, however, and learn about our mission, 
we'll begin to get flashes of memories and moments of deja vu. One of the main marks of a star seed is feeling as though you have a mission that you need to accomplish here on Earth, and also that you don't fully fit in or feel comfortable here because it isn't your home. There are definitely specific Whoa. traits and characteristics that apply to each galactic origin. So comment if you guys want me to make this a series where I explain each type of star seed. Let's see all the stars. So seeds. a lot of you guys found me. Now I found the next one I think that's going to come up is pretty wild and weird. Um, Utopian Atlantis. <laughs> it's kind of similar to the Unicult. It's like a crazy multimedia experience. Wow. Skydin.com. Magical discoveries from the beginning to the end of time. Share for magic. It's Dragon Age Star Seed Origins. This is like a freaking video game. Uh, let's see. Let's find this website. This is pretty cool. No. It's not that. Let's see if we can find it. It's the Skyden website. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Skyden, this is crazy. This is a tagged star seed on tic on TikTok. Greetings of seekers of truth. This is Skyden Zeal. You have found my website with myth mystical artifacts to help you on your journey. How can I help you? I'm not a bot, so we can just chat with Skyden Zeal. Skyden, this is the craziest website I've ever seen. I get some of these. Upgrade your gear. So it's Reiki inscribed pendants and rings and souls sus sustained sustenance silver silverware. Okay. Interstellar cellular. Temp uh, add timeless magical sigils in silver and gold to your cell phone. Sculptures of your soul. Check that chat chat box below. This is some crazy stuff. And get some jewelry. Healing and Reiki Jewelry. A locket ring, mini runes, prehistoric incarnation of Odin, luxury gems, Egyptian micro pendulum, <laughs> silver 18 karat gold. Impossibly dated. This is ancient Anunnaki stuff or something. Rings that read your destiny. Skydenzeal.com Hyper, hyper, Hyperborean Sun Extraterrestrial Norse Sacred Geometry Cultivated by Skyden Odin <laughs> This is a great website I'm to Order some of these jewelry How much does it cost? This chat box thing is in the way. Blue Sapphire. So it's like it's kind of a, a multimedia experience here. Some interesting design stuff and different uh, jewelry. Whoa. It's $400 for a, some of this stuff. Spiritually customized. Oh my god. <laughs> it just keeps on scrolling. Channeled vision of an important spacecraft yet to be. Impossibly detailed. Holy moly. Channeled artifact from the future arrives. Good lord. It's We're still scrolling. <laughs> These are all the different things you can buy. Spiritually customized. All talisman or pendants are created by Skyden Zeal, and they're like living beings. They require genuine spiritual power, a lot of careful thought, passion, and months to be brought to life. It's because of Skyden Zeal's rare, rare talents that all of our products are energetically perfected, beautiful, sacred, and complete. Holy crap! You can get some bling, some alien bling. And I think there's a video. I want to see some of this stuff in action. I think we have a video here. We love videos. Let's see. Here it 
focus. How to get spiritual results. Based in Manhattan. Oh, yeah. Instructor of Scandinavian shamanic techniques, metaphysical jeweler, creator of healing instruments. Meditation that you're going to be using through looking at this symbol. So you move your consciousness upward outside of the human existence, human experience, uh, to the source. And now on, on each side we have a horizontal line here, which with two other spheres of intelligence or two other rings. And what they do is the energy that is originated by you as the creator of all of your reality goes out along the horizontal band. And that horizontal band represents Earth, the Earth plane. So here we have the this is compli center. Some complicated self geometry going on here. Coming from source, landing on Earth. And that is the basis for the symbol of the cross, or the hammer sign. It's an ancient symbol of Thor. But it's Thor. also a diagram of our species as humans on Earth. And by, uh, by doing the that, roast hand. ability <laughs> and connection to the source, you can, you can feel that through the video. See, I have with me here my jeweler's hammer, which I use in my workshop to provide healing for people. It's it's, it's been used, <laughs> it's been consecrated, been used for the highest positive. Spiritual Bonky on the head with that. It's, it's <coughs> art. Not every it's explaining Wi-Fi. <laughs> look, um, you know, ornate. Just expand or your consciousness. Or but this, this hammer has a lot of positive energy. Hammer of the gods. The Ooh. Visual activation, Icelandic stuff. This is just wild. This is just wild stuff here on this. One of the weirdest, one of the wildest websites I've ever seen. The Anunnaki. One of the wildest things I've ever seen. And this looks like some, some of those 5G uh, protector, protector crystals. Uh, whatever those things are called. The Orgon. Orgon. Uh-oh. I am Russian spy. Go Trump. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. Mods were blocking uh, someone. I don't know <laughs> what's happening. Okay. Someone was trying to say something nasty in the chat. Look at that. Look, look, look at, at that. that. Alright, I guess that's the end of the website. It's a long it's a long website. Okay. Mods. Where's the mods at? Okay, <laughs> did it myself. All right, 
Poff's the only mod. Poff is drinking and doing his doing his um his pour over. But that's fine. I'm a mod too. Okay. I'm gonna get these freaking trolls out of here. I'm trying to ascend to the higher levels. Okay. What's our next one? There's just a lot of stuff to get through. I guess let's go back to let's go back to TikTok. Um, let's go back to TikTok and watch some more TikTok. Oh, God. Here's some light language. <laughs> some more light language. <laughs> this is Lady New Elish. There are a bunch of these accounts. This is one that's very popular. Light matters. We're gonna have to go into this because they have a bunch of. Because <laughs> they have. A... <laughs> they have a bunch of videos. <laughs> These are the codes downloading. I've downloaded the codes. My ADHD brain is so pleased. So soothing. Okay. <laughs> we get it. You're downloading the codes. Okay, we get it. Um... Let's see that. Let's see the profile here. And these are you can also see the like three or four accounts that I follow on on TikTok. Turbo the video god. <laughs> so this is Light Matters. Eighty thousand followers. Star seeds. Light language. Let's see some more light language. And this is the where you're gonna hear all this stuff is on TikTok. <laughs> Light language clears your energetic fields. Okay, my internet's not cooperating. That's not good. This whole damn show runs on the internet. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, it's also uh, kind of interesting. They're wearing a what looks like a headscarf hijab type thing. So I don't think that would be. I don't think that's part of Islam is to be doing in light language. So. <laughs> the codes are coming in strong now. Let's start getting back into TikTok. Good morning, hybrid children. It's about the Illuminati. There's a lot of stuff on here. Uh, what other ones did I find? I make it as on fleek. <laughs> Hi, I love you. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> care what you've done. Oh my gosh, it's not I don't cooperating. Care. Poff, you missed it. There is a freaking Russian spy in the chat that I had to ban. I am Russian spy go Trump. <laughs> These damn hackers are trying to get in, but they're banned I don't care now. Who you've hurt? 
who's hurt you, I still love you. Check the mo- check the mod logs. I'm some love um, through some light language, um, and I hope whoever needs to see it Everyone's receives it. Everyone's had their morning coffee, so you know what happens after that. Hi. Hi. Ooh, oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Human, why are we humans afraid of aliens? I'm hearing alien. Uh, this person did a whole bunch of videos about. Okay, I'm gonna make this a series scenes. on my page. Okay, so you guys really liked my other two Star C videos, so I'm here today to finish the rest and make this like a mini series. So the picture behind me is a collage of all the six common type of Star C. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Pleiadians. So Pleiadian starseeds are from the constellation of Pleiades, or are like right under the Little Dipper. These beings live in the third to ninth dimension, and they also have a very Nordic-like appearance, like this. They also tend to have very tall, long, willowy bodies, and also imagine, have an angelic look them to talking them. About Pleiadians humans. also tend to have a very pure energy about them because they are young souls, because Pleiades are the youngest starseeds of all of them. These people are natural healers and they also have a very strong heart chakra. These people also tend to attract energy vampires to them and negative people and negative things. And they also tend to have a very blocked throat chakra because they don't speak up for themselves. But they're also uh -oh. the type of people to self-sacrifice themselves for the greater is a star good. Seed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make <laughs> Reading through these comments, Megan Fox is a star seed. My mom taught me about the stars. I'm obsessed with Pleiadias. You had me drawing energy vampires and not speaking out for myself. Dang, my Pleiadian guide abducted me after a long time thinking I was an alien. What? Interesting stuff. Why are the humans afraid of aliens? The real reason why humans are afraid of aliens, let's go. We have been conditioned for years through subliminal messages by the media to view aliens as bad or scary. When in fact, most aliens are actually aliens benevolent are cool. beings and want to help us here on Earth with our ascension. The people in power have known this, but they want to use this information for their own gain. The oh, real crap. reason why humans are afraid of aliens, let's go. We have been- Let's go. Humans are afraid of aliens. They're trying to cover up the truth. Hello, I have a message from the Palladians <laughs> for you. Here we go. This mm, document that was released from your government mm, alluding <laughs> to or acknowledging the hologram is merely another illusion for some of those who are along the journey of spiritual awakening comment. because those are the ones that will seek it because they are seeking Yay. for additional verification. But how can the existing paradigm confirm anything that is known intuitively? It cannot. It can only give you additional reasons to hold faith in the existing paradigm that you are locked in. There is no splitting of two worlds. <laughs> there is the new world that is here now, is and there is the old world that is passing. No order. one will be left behind. Wow. Hello. I like the comments here. I literally just nodded my head and said, cool. <laughs> this is a good one. I'm very familiar with what Pleiadian speech patterns sound typically sound like. Woo! And this is the real deal for anyone that's doubting. It's the real deal. It's the Pleiadians talking. Thank you for addressing this. I'm like hologram? Yeah, they would rather have us think we were linked up to a computer. LMAO. I channeled this too. Whoa, thank you for <laughs> thank you for reaffirming. Thank you for reaffirming it too. Thank. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that's not helping my anxiety. This message is one of love. This is Nate Alpen. So many souls stuck in such 3D states of consciousness, I'm unsure as though they'll be able to be apart from Earth. They'll eventually catch up. 
Wow, word up. Thank you for your message. I can always tell when it's a proper channeling because of the enunciations. Hmm. You sound like you're from the movie Galaxy Quest. That's Ted Cruz says that. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of a lot of stuff on TikTok. This this one they're talking about the Subaru. Did logo. you know that Subaru actually means Pleiades in Japanese, and the logo is representative of the Pleiades star system. Logos what? are very important to these corporate companies, and when they are trying to create a logo, there's generally an occult background to it, something what? deep that intertwines to give a message. As you can see through the progression of the logo, something changed. What is that? What? Six stars. The Pleiades is known as the Seven Sisters, but there are actually six. One of the sisters died. This death oh, no. brought great mourning to the remaining of the sisters, and that is why you see six stars in the logo. Whoa, Did you know that Subaru, Subaru actually means Pleiades in Japanese? And, and this person was looking through a lot of these videos. It's like an alien, cool alien shirt. Um, so, <laughs> and this isn't funny. I shouldn't laugh. Um, they, they have some, some fun starseed videos and stuff. And then there's a video about, I'm pretty sure I have COVID. So... That's no good. We're and we hope Kelly the lamb gets okay. Is it feels better? So that's not that's not good. Okay, so that's what's on TikTok. And there's this guy. <laughs> this guy's. There's this guy too. Stop scrolling. The infinite cup. Come on. Love the damn thing. Blue Dan's love affordable automobiles for folks who love outdoor adventures. That's right. They just want us to enjoy the Mother Earth. Stop scrolling. This is confirmation that whatever you manifested is coming this weekend. All you have to do is trust the universe. Let it come to you. The infinite cup. Type I am ready to claim and affirm. So mote it be. Says Carmela Bombshell. Joyce Kenobi. I am ready. Big money to furnish my business. Stop scrolling. <laughs> All I have to do is trust the universe. No, it already happened. Let me let it come to you. Type I am ready to claim. I am ready. Okay, that's TikTok. Um, what other stuff do I have? We have the light. We talked about light workers, so apparently that is a type of star seed. So we need to revisit one of our favorite light workers. That is on Instagram. Hello, loves. So you don't need thoughts, memory, what? or imagination. They actually need you to survive. Right? That's why they come to you. That's why they appear in you. Because they need your life force to exist, to perpetuate, to propagate, to <laughs> keep reproducing. Procrastinate. Yourself. You see? So your very attention to thoughts, <laughs> memory, imagination, and even emotion gives it life force. It tickles it, if you will. So, my encouragement is to be more interested in presence or the one who's observing thought, memory, imagination, and emotion, than the memory, imagination, and emotion itself. <laughs> who's looking, what's perceiving? <laughs> that silent observer is you. Not what it observes. Know this, see this. Namaste. Who? She got that. In, she's got that intense light worker stare. It's intense. You're bringing the fifth dimensional energy going on. Hello, friends. How are you? <laughs> it's too intense. When we stop <laughs> believing and imagining that we're broken and that we're imperfect, <gasps> perfection is revealed. Holiness is revealed. What? Wholeness is revealed as you are now. But this thought, this idea, this concept that you're broken, that you need to be healed, is the very springboard for suffering. 
but you're perfect right now in presence as presence. So can you observe this thought that you're broken? Can you love it? Can you observe your emotions and memory without connecting and getting involved with them and trying to, to fix it all? <laughs> just, just notice. Just notice what happens when you observe and you don't try to fix. Observation is one of your greatest skills. Just bring acceptance in. Bring observation in and watch the field open. Wow! Wow! Woo! I mean, you know, not entirely bad advice, I guess, but it's, it's a lot of uh, weird stuff with the light working ascension type energy carb free. Um, she's, and she's got to be a Palladian. I mean, blonde Palladian aliens. They're out there. And one of our favorite people, as we're about getting close to end the show, we're going through some of our favorite people out there. Let's maybe watch some more light language stuff. It's pretty fun. I, mean, I guess we should probably look at the event, but we need to watch one of more of our favorites. One of more of them. When we're looking at the Pleiadians, and she's the OG Pleiadian. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Yes. And now I shall bring in the Pleiadians to see what they would like to share with you about this new moon in Leo. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. We just want to laugh a little. <laughs> I want you to get your laughing. Oh, oh, oh. I just want you to move your mouth a bit. Yeah. Move it. It's much more flexible than you can imagine. You want, yeah? Jim Carrey, your neck, rubber your face. Jaw. Just get it your going. Neck, your get back. It, it. Loosen it. Yeah, imagine you your... got a little oil in there. That's <laughs> it. A bit of WD40. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Dang. And your neck to the Pleiadians yeah. are on one today. Very often very tight. Very tight around the neck and no blood gets into the brain and then you wonder why you're a little stuffy and making funny choices in your life, yeah? That's it. Then move you all over. Oh my god. <laughs> Who Pleiadians are going off today. This is this is a good one. Then move you all over the lips. That's it. Then move you all over the lips. <laughs> Jeez, it's like the Joker. Yeah, I mean, Pleiadians have become Jokerified. <laughs> Around this area of your body, you see, because this area of your body is where joy resides. <laughs> Good it's where you laugh, it's where you smile, it's where you have pleasure. Why are you eating, so serious? <laughs> 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 so we want you just to just do these actions with us, yes? Just play around, play around. Mm -hmm. your back, you know? Why do you know how I got these scars? Let it go everywhere, really, can't you? Release the door. Release everything. I don't like that she's smacking her lips. Release it. Imagine you're a doll. Free. Imagine that your neck is free. Your mouth is free. Your tongue is free. That's it, you see. We love you so very much, dear ones. We are playing with you, but you see, you've got to remember to play. If you forget to Yikes. play, you're really going to get sucked into all kinds of naughty energies. But you don't like them. <laughs> naughty. Yeah? So you must Yum. remember every day to have a little play, a little play around. Yeah, you can look in the mirror and just play with yourself. <laughs> you see, but we would certainly work at this. Work at playing, so to speak, yeah? Yum. Because you can get it, dear ones. And uh, that's really the reminder of this new moon in Leo. Is to remember to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> We realize Brad is having a little difficulty stepping aside, feeling that she's looking a little silly. Even though it's important to allow yourself to look a little silly. To let yourself really go into silly williness. Willy palladiums. Give yourself ten minutes of silly williness. Every day, and you'll find that you'll change. Your energy will change. Your chakras will move. Your neck will move. Your brain will your be more neck and your back. And all the you'll different parts. And you'll just feel different. It will just be like putting on a new 
Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I have to say, I'm sure I look like a real Burke, but so be it, that's what they wanted to bring through. So I'm gonna trust it and I will post it, even though I have some trepidation about that. Uh -oh. So from my heart to yours, much love. Dang, that was good. <laughs> Man, never fails to disappoint. <laughs> Ooh, man. There's a lot of other weird stuff on here. Uh, let's just run through some of these. And I'm gonna get it. Hello! Here. Hello! <laughs> and welcome to Whoa. the jungle! <laughs> Hello, guys! Hey! Ah. How are you doing? Ah, my videos aren't working. Hello! Hello! <laughs> and welcome Hello. to the jungle! <laughs> Hello, guys! Hey! How are you doing? Doing good. I'm sitting here. Ah, you have to take a look. Oh, I have to change it. Oh, I have to do it in this way. Yeah, it is very cold. It is very cold, this river. I don't know, 15 degrees? <laughs> but yes, it is so refreshing. I love it. You can see it here. Love it. Yeah, it is, it is a very beautiful and strong and clear river. I love it. Yeah, I, love it. I got the impulse to record a video for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like a crown. Do you see that? No, the video is not <laughs> I good. make it in this way. So, hello guys, how are you hello. doing? <laughs> okay, this video is not working. It's how to tap into the 5G, the 5D. Stop feeling confused. Hello. Uh, and then there's this person's doing some light codes. I love the light code. There is no thinking with light language. Everything is automatic. Everything go with the flow. Shumatayanek <laughs> At up utamayet. Shukalek alutumuk ayama humatuk ish weya. Ratu ish na ete na olu. Suka e. Ukamai 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 aya aya aya. Shu e aya. Nuk alik akuk aya na ek mok. Okay. We're supposed to. I was, forgot I was going to talk Ooh, about. So good. <laughs> I guess we're playing Mr. Food. I forgot I was supposed to be talking about the event because this one's coming up. It's coming up soon. The event, and a lot of people are talking so about it. You ask, what is the event? The event will be a moment of breakthrough for the planet, which will be physical and non-physical. On the non-physical plane there will be a big wave or flash of divine energy and light coming from the galactic central sun going towards the surface of the planet. The galactic central sun is an object in the Sagittarius constellation. It will be a flash or special kind of light from the sun that permeates the earth and humanity. It will calm humanity in the light of love energy and end duality. It's a magnificent energy not seen or felt before on earth. Everyone on Earth will feel and know something has happened. It will be a surprise as to when it's it will happen, crazy. even for us. It's never happened before. It will not be a major shock event. It will be a positive event. Hmm. On the physical plane there will be the arrest of the cabal which has already started. The reset of the financial systems. Disclosure which is the release of hidden truth Disclosure. and events including ET information. 
the beginning of a new fair financial system with prosperity funds for all. Bitcoin. New government, political system, education system, healthcare system, history lessons, etc. etc. Awakening of humanity slowly and gradually to the existence of positive non-terrestrial races and or galactic connections. Introduction of new advanced technology. The release of spiritual growth and healing for every human being on the planet. There is much, much more to look forward to. You also ask, is there something which we can do before the event? We are about to enjoy both the non-violent liberation of the planet along with a bright and beautiful future for all of humanity. Since we do not know the exact day, month, or year of the event, it would be wise to follow a few simple rules of precaution, okay, keep an extra two weeks of food on hand starting now. Oh, no. Make sure you and your loved ones have an up-to-date supply of any medicines that might be required. Keep extra cash hidden away at your home. What? Gas up your vehicle when the tank is one half empty. Stay in touch with this website for updates. Educate yourself, friends and family members. Join one of the six task force areas on this website and assist in liberation of our beautiful... Whoa, that's creepy. It's supposed to be a fun and good event. Maybe we'll do an episode about the event. Moldova the Starseed. Um, but I wanted to touch on it because I believe it's been mentioned before. By somebody mentioned the event. Cobra, the Age of Aquarius activation. The Cobra. People are tweeting about it. The portal, the planetary initiation. The Pluto uh, conjunction can assist you to follow the if you wish to a personal team to be formed for you and assist you you have to say the following protocol aloud three times command 1221 personal team will help wherever they can what you're planning to reinforce that technology with nanobots so the cobra people are tweeting all about some kind of weird chimera spiders <laughs> dropping plasma bombs the hell? The Archons. Um, and they've got a blog spot called Prepare, uh, The Portal, which is where the Cobra team posts about the aliens and stuff. We love mass meditation. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. I should probably just... We covered some of this on the, on the Alien Cults episode because... I think it's, here it is, prepareforchange.net. These are the people talking about the event. Prepare for change. The event. Cobra resistance movement. Disclosure. Prepare for change network. The, for the shifts. The planetary shift called the event. And it's a positive event. The world reset is imminent. It's a positive event, but make sure you've got all your disaster stuff um, prepared. So, anyway, you're a star seed. You need to get your energies ready because the event is coming. I can't wait for the event. Make sure your gas is filled up and you've got your bunker is ready because the event is coming. <laughs> okay. That's a little ominous ending, I think, <laughs> to the show. The event. Um, it's kind of ominous and creepy. It's supposed to be fun, but I guess... There's going to be uh, all kinds of calamities happening because of the event. Well, it was a fun show today, everybody. It was a fun show today, everybody. We learned all about being star seeds and stuff. Thanks for having watched the show. We hope that you have learned all that you can about what your star seed is and that you're ready for the event. We're going to do another, we're going to talk about the event later. That's a little, I'm logging off to join the Unicult. That's right. We're going to, we're going to do another episode about the event because it's crazy and creepy. But thanks for watching. We learned all about Unicult. That was cool. And what some of the different star seed things are. Those are cool. And we've, we're going to do some more research into that. Check out the Vice article, uh, the Vice documentary about 
uni unicult. It's uh, kind of interesting. It sums it up a little bit better than I can. Um, and just uh, prepare your brains for the event, I guess. <laughs> and try to figure out what aliens you belong to. So the, alien, the aliens show up. They're like, we're here to, we're here to take you back. You gotta know which spaceship to get on, I guess. I think that's what it's about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out the cool stream Patreon as well. We got the cool podcast coming up, and we did. We've got a free episode. You can check it out, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, let me do. See if I can get to this real quick. Uh, let me do a little. I'm gonna do a little uh, a sneak peek of something coming up. And that'll wet your whistle, so to speak. We're going to do a little sneak peek of something coming up. And uh, let's see, here it is. And before we get out of here, because <laughs> why not? It's my show. I didn't have this prepared, so hopefully it doesn't. La 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 la. Alright, let's see if I can get this, this little sneak peek. Crap. Hello, it's the god of Cringe here. Jeremy would just like to say he's super duper sorry to... <laughs> uh, this little sneak peek of what's coming up this week on the Cool Podcast. Network. He says, Sorry. Nation Podcast Network. Rye Nation Podcasts to the Samurai Nation Podcast Network. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Uh, Strahd's, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> we've got a, it's fun being a patron. Scraw, Scrawd is here. Subscribe for four months. Oh no. Um, <laughs> thanks for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Uh, no, Jeremy sent me something that we got. I have blocked him on all social media, but we did manage to get through the channels, different some different channels from the network. So we're going to play that on the podcast this week. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> cool stream. We'll see you next time. And Strahd, you're a little bit late. We're ending the show, but thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on The Cool Stream. Bye bye. <laughs>